Now, is it a guard killed him? Did somebody get let in the prison? Did prisoner do it? Like, was a prisoner basically given the job to kill him? Like, how did it happen? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Cities of Blood Podcast. I'm Phil DeSaro. I'm Alexis Derevko. And, uh... We're back for another week together. Yay, I'm alive. Feeling better now? Eh, yeah. barely. <laughs> it's, uh, if I cough, I'm sorry. The winter season is upon us. and uh, If you hear crunching, it's because I can't put a, a holes in my throat without, or in my mouth without just crunching on it. It's, uh, yeah, Alexis has been our first casualty of the season. Mm. So uh, today we're going to talk about Jeffrey Epstein's Little Black Book and uh, all the... Like, the rumor mill just has not gone away about this thing ever since he died. Three months and four days ago. So it's been been that long. And uh, and I see news uh, articles on the internet that have nothing to do with with him. And there's p- comments about, uh, you know, him and mm-hmm. his little black book. Well, that's the meme about... It's the whole meme. M- M- Epstein didn't kill, kill himself or didn't hang himself or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Alec Baldwin actually tweeted that the Russians killed him and that they're in charge of everything now. Uh, You know, how do you feel about that, Mr. Mr. Derevko? Well, I mean... Can you offer us us some insight? um, I haven't talked to my good friend Vladimir in a while, but, uh, I mean, he killed a pedophile. (laughs) Why does anyone care? Right. A sex trafficker. And a pedophile. Sex trafficker, pedophile, and a man with an egg-shaped penis, apparently. Have you heard that one? I did. I I, I was watching something last night. I don't remember what it was. One of those, he was being interviewed by the, the, I don't know if it was the cops or the FBI. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they asked him in the interview, is your penis egg-shaped? Like, he just laughed. Yeah. And and the, the attorney warned... You know, the uh, counselor who was asking the question, and the counselor just kept on asking mm-hmm. it, and that was the end of that interview. Oh, was it a lawyer? <laughs> it was a lawyer, yeah. He was oh, in, he was in okay. a sworn deposition there, but the, um, yeah, anyways, he walked out because of that question. Mm. But that was a calculated move. You know, that that was, Ooh, yeah. you know, that was a way to uh, to let Epstein know that. Um, they knew. We know, and we're not, you know, there's no reason that a 14-year-old girl should know what your penis looks like. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's what the internet's for, right? Right. Jeffrey the Egg. Epstein. Epstein. And uh, one of the richest men in the world. And man, did he have a lot of people in that book. Uh, besides Alec Baldwin, Mick Jagger, uh, I saw Dr. Ruth Westheimer in there. So I'm just going to... Uh, where do I lose the names here? He's going to read the list. Here we go with the black book in case anybody else hasn't read this out there. Um, Courtney Love... Uh, Ivana Lowell, Mark Lloyd, Lucas Collin, John and Lottie Larmer. Nope. Don't know. Uh, Lindsay, or I'm sorry, Blake Lindsay, David Lindley. I saw David Blaine in there. Paul Lister. Uh... Let's see, we saw Ray Fiennes, Hold on, let me, David Blaine, and Alec Baldwin. Donald Trump, Courtney Love, uh, former Israeli Prime Minister, uh, is it Ehud Barak? Oh, wow. Uh, Uber lawyer Alan Dershowitz. I saw Mike Bloomfield in there when I left. Uh, uh, what's actually his name? The Duke of York is oh, in there. He's Alec Baldwin, Ray Fiennes, Griffin Dunn, New York Post gossip. Griffin Dunn, I remember him. I was a gossip columnist, I think was what they mean. Richard Johnson, Ted Kennedy. Oh, yeah. There's an Edward Kennedy in there, too. Uh, David Koch, uh, Andrew Jericki. Koch, I think, is Coke. I think that's one of the Koch brothers. K O C H? Yeah, I think that's one of the Koch brothers. No, isn't he like the old. Wasn't he. At, well, that's Mayor Ed Koch. Oh, that's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, no, the Koch brothers are uh, are the two slime balls that are trying to ruin the world. I think one of them's dead, thankfully. I don't know. Some guy named Andrew Jarecki, who's apparently a filmmaker. Probably saying his name wrong. Uh, uh, the 
it's there's more uh this list kind of this gawker article kind of moves so i'm like uh well i mean the, the list is uh there are some people on there I, i'm willing to think that you know probably nothing happened like maybe the prime minister of, of israel or courtney left but then again maybe not who knows courtney <coughs> but um i mean she did she did kill kurt cobain and and obviously i don't think he ever called dr ruth westheimer otherwise he wouldn't have the problems that he had uh billionaire leslie wexner former new york new mexico governor bruce king former uh presidential candidate bill richardson peter soros uh that's a big name that's George Soros's nephew. Yeah. Miss Sweden. Uh, oh, I guess. So the uh, the Duke of York. Oh, Eva the, Anderson Dubi, Dubine. The Duke of York. This is um, this is the, Prince Prince Charles' brother. His younger brother. Yeah. Younger brother. Is that the guy who was married to Fergie? What's his first name? I don't know. I, it's been so long. Andrew. Yeah, I think. so. I think she was married to Andrew. Andrew. And this is uh, who's this guy? This Duke of you? This uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure, but I it. Uh, I, I think it is him. Is it him? I think I it could be wrong. So uh, mm. so he's named by um by the, the the girl that was on the 60 Minutes article. What was her name again? Oh, we, shoot. we just we just had her name. Uh, uh, one second here. I have it. I, I saved it. Um. Virginia Roberts Goofrey? Dufrey? It no, it's G I U F F R E. Oh, Goufrey. 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 That I got that off the Australian Virgin- article. Okay. So, and you know, they say things weird. So, Virginia they Roberts talk funny. Guffrey or Goufrey. Sorry, Ian. The um, We do have we do Ian, my friend Ian is one of our viewers. Is he? And he's he lives in Perth. He's a good buddy of mine. In Australia, and right? He, so we that's our one person in Australia who watches us. Australia and, and, and our uh, our friend Ian. Right? Uh yeah. Oh well, yeah, Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew. That's uh, Prince Andrew. Uh so he's had sex with uh with, with Virginia Roberts. Bill Clinton. Bill Cl- Bill Clinton? Wow. Yeah, he's you know Bill did something. There's, I mean, that's Look, a given. if they weren't fat chubs, then Bill's not <laughs> fucking them. I'm sure. I'm sure Epstein probably had a few of those around. It's Look, Bill Clinton and my friend Sean Black. Yeah. There's two kinds of women they like. Bigger white women. Really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> who is that? That that uh, that one that um. God, I can't. He just never goes for anybody that was Bill never went for anybody in my opinion that was all that great looking. There was that one. No, I, the, the only one who got better looking was like uh, the blue dress chick, oh, Monica really? Lewinsky. Okay. Like ten years after, though, yeah, when she got Hollywooded up, yeah, yeah. But for him, that was the younger woman, you know. Yeah, she was twenty, and he was wow. fifty. Fifty. Wow, it's thirty year difference. Because remember, he was he got he was president when he was like forty four. Yeah, he was young. Like yeah. he was one of the youngest presidents. One of the younger ones. Yeah, they kept comparing him to JFK back when when he was uh, right running when he was running. Yeah, it's but trust a, me, yeah, there's a big difference between. Well, and JFK was another whoremonger. Yeah, but JFK yeah. banged Marilyn. And yeah, he banged Monica Lewinsky. There's, yeah, there's also JFK from Cape Cod, Bill Clinton from Little Rock. Little Rock. No offense to our Little Rock fans <laughs> out there, but uh, no. Uh, you know, the, I guess Bill Clinton, in, in my opinion, had more of the, more of a rock star vibe. You know, which uh, lends to that. And then, what's his name? Uh, JFK was much more of a movie star kind of quality to him. Well, yeah, and uh, he was freaking JFK. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's not forget he was married married to Jacqueline Kennedy, who was pretty freaking hot for the time. Yeah. Jack, Jacqueline uh, Bouvier. Yeah. I almost called her Onassis, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, that was, that was after, after JFK that name. Was. So uh, as far as, like, people that are in the book that we can, you know, guess might have done something, uh, might have hung out with him at a party. Well, we saw the footage of the president with him from, yeah. like, back in the 90s, right? And then Or late 80s. And hold on. There is a thing. Uh, 
you know, like a spokesman for Trump said he only knew Epstein as Mr. Trump owns hottest and most luxurious clubs in Palm Beach. Uh, and Mr. Epstein would go there on occasion. During that time period, it's fair to say Jeffrey may have had more money than Trump, <laughs> Trump did at that time. I think he has more money that's, uh, when he died. That's, that's possible. I don't know. If, with, with Trump being in the office, he's, he's made a ton of cash. He's not allowed to make any money while he's the president of the United States of oh, America. No. He's not allowed to. But you know. I will, I'm going to throw this out there. It's probably going to get me in trouble. I listened to uh, an interview that Trump Jr. did with... Uh, Chris Jericho, okay, AW Le Champion, yeah, uh, kind of made me like the guy. Really, Trump Jr., just Trump Jr. Yeah, but like, okay, like some of us you know, politically, I'm not on the same page as him. But like the shit he said, I was like, okay, maybe he's not an awful person yeah, after all. Uh, is that the uh, the dark haired one, the oldest, the slicky boy looking one? Kind of almost looks like if. Uh, Gavin Newsom was from yeah. New York. I I heard that uh, that his father slapped the shit out of him. One day he went, he strapped by you know his son's college to pick him up for some reason. Yeah, you know, and uh, and Don Junior showed up downstairs or I, I don't know whether it was upstairs downstairs. Somehow he met his father without a suit and tie on, and. <laughs> If if you're uh, Trump, yeah, you just don't do that. He it, tells a story about uh, he told Trump that uh, I think it was right after college he went he was moving to Denver to become a bartender. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and uh, uh, he was there for 18 months. He said the only thing that they forgot to take away from him was his gas card. Wow. And he literally said he goes I he goes dude I used to go to. Uh, uh, like you know, AM PM, yeah. And he was like, I would get the forty nine cent burritos and the you can get like two lemonades for a dollar, and that's I was be my my food for a day because I got cut off. Wow. Yeah. Well, they they uh, cut off his Trump's older brother got cut off by the by the father. You know, Donald Trump's older brother. I didn't even know he had an older brother. He had an older brother who uh, died of alcoholism, unfortunately. Wow. And uh, he had uh, he wasn't cutthroat. Mm. Like like Donnie or or uh, or his, the old man or the old man was, and so the old man put him in charge of uh, some one of these uh, housing projects that he had in the Bronx, <laughs> and uh, and he made the the terrible mistake of putting new windows in, you know, so that they'd be more heat efficient. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. And his father went ape shit about that, and uh, kind of like kicked. I berated him, maybe like demoted him, kicked him out of the business type thing. And then he went into, he was like a fishing captain, I believe, for a little while. Mm-hmm. And then he ended up being like a janitor in one of Trump's buildings. Hmm. And then he's Donald Trump's older brother. And he eventually died of alcoholism. And Trump talks about him a little bit, you know, and it is tragic when anybody dies of alcoholism. But yeah. it's, he just didn't have that killer instinct in, for that family. I have a I have a friend whose family is... Old, old, old East Coast money. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I'm talking like George Washington old time money. Okay. And my buddy, he came here to go to college is how I know him. His brother was the same way. Like, it was one of those things like you you, you got a degree, you were either a lawyer, you were a doctor. There's something else you were allowed to be in this family. Yeah. And then you went back East. And you help the family run businesses as a doctor, a lawyer, this and that. And his brother was like, I want to be a pro baseball player. And that was not good enough. Mm. And they literally were like, you sign that minor league contract. That's the money you're going to live on the rest of your life. Blew his brains out. That's terrible. Yep. He walked up to the front gate of the house he couldn't get in. Yeah. They knew it was still early 2000s. So they knew that. It would be recorded, and he was like, "I love everyone." Wow, I've seen the video. Really? Yep. So, how did you know this person? He came here to go to college. Wow. He came here. He came here uh, uh, to go to medical school because he went to UCD. He went, to, but he dropped out of medical school. No, no, no. The guy I'm talking about. This is it was his older brother. Oh. His older okay. brother wanted to be a pro baseball player. Yeah. And his family was like, "No, absolutely not." 
That's... And I was like, do you know what he could do if he makes it? He could make you guys money just by being in baseball. This seems like almost like the like the Japanese pre- you know pressures the Japanese students get put on them kind of crazy shit. Um, my friend has told me, and he he, he lives back east, and we talk still pretty regularly because he was he was a real down to earth billionaire <laughs> when he was a kid, and uh, he said uh, he told me one time the first time he ever had to go anywhere here, he didn't know how to get there because there wasn't someone driving him. He had never. He had never been on a bus. He had never been on a bicycle. Um, Did not a call a cab. No clue how to. He wouldn't. No, no freaking clue. And this is because it would have been two thousand that he was here when I met him. Because he had already done his four years or five years in regular school, yeah. and then was coming here to go to medical school. Wow. Yep. Yeah, my my brother Drew went to school with a couple of. Very wealthy kids, you know, from wealthy families. I have no idea what it's like to grow up in that type of uh, shit with those pressures or with that type of privilege, you know, I think. I think um, you know. I don't, I don't, it, it was a, it's a different for us, our families being different. We were always like the hardworking, like I said, I mean, we've talked about my grandparents being big time dairy farmers and yeah. having clouts, but not money. Yeah. You know, my grand, my great grandmother was a cattle baron, and you know, I think until she died, she had a bottle of Jack Daniels and a six shooter on her hip. Uh, you know, and Annie Oakley. You know, well, she was six two and two forty. She'd kick your ass. Jesus, that's a big woman. There's a reason she outlived two husbands and I think three children. Wow. She died almost at a hundred. Yeah. God. Was she a Viking? <laughs> Jesus. That's why I always tell everyone I'm six foot and a half, and I'm still one of the shortest people in my family. Wow. On my mom's side, at least. <laughs> he's he's the baby from the baby yeah. the baby from the giant family. Yeah, you know, my I think my uncle's like six one. My I have two I have two female cousins that are six foot. Wow. Both her boys are uh, at least six three. You know, all my other I you know my cousin my, my cousin Jay who's in Sacramento he's probably six four. So I'm. All, I was always like, sure. One of the. Best. I mean, I can kick all their asses, but That's, my grandpa, my father's father was like five three on a good day. <laughs> yeah, it's a, all the height comes from my my uh, any height I have comes from my mother, my mother's side of the family, which are all. Well, see, it's the same thing for me. Yeah. So, my great grand my fa- my grandfather's six six foot, maybe six one, but his father was six five. <laughs> but his mother was like five foot. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, well, six foot guy marries a five foot woman. You end up with, you know, somewhere in the middle. Anyways, this is fascinating stuff that we're getting <laughs> sidetracked onto. But, um, back to the, the crazy case of, uh, of, I guess I saw Michael Jackson in the book too. So Michael Jackson, the obvi- problem is that the like redacted part, Oh yeah, there's a, there's some names that are completely blocked yeah, out too. So those, I wonder if those are people that are maybe turned states, states evidence, evidence, or they're dead. I don't know why a name. Well, Michael Jackson's in there, and he's and he's been dead for a while. That's true. No, I don't think Michael was uh, well, was looking for the same type of thing that that Jeffrey was. But I mean, it, I'm sure he could get it. But they could have both been part of the Super Adventurers Club. Now, you, you remember that South Park episode? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you made me watch it. Yeah. Well, that it was my favorite show for a long time. Because I don't watch that crap. That's, that was such a great show for years. I got to catch back up with this season. I just kind of lost touch with it. But, but so, all right. So, Jeffrey Epstein, he, he there was more than one girl. The other girl on there was uh, Courtney... Um, Courtney Wilde. Okay. And I know that the name stuck in my head, but Courtney Wilde, she said she met Epstein when she was 14 years old, right? Now, she came from a trailer park uh, in a very poor part of West Palm Beach, Florida. And I, I've spent some time uh, in West Palm. West Palm is kind of weird right. where you ha- it borders Palm Beach, which is the, where Trump lives, mar lago right. It's, you know, the richest zip code in America. And then you have trailer parks, you know, on the other side of the road over, over here a ways. 
And uh, there was a, a street called Clematis Street, which was very big in the late 90s. And uh, then some people got beat up in the early 2000s, and it turned into a ghost town. And now I think it may have come back, but my brother tried to open a restaurant there. So, I mean. Oh, I remember you telling me about that. I'm very familiar with the West Palm Beach area. This girl said she was 14 years old when she met Epstein, and she went with a friend. Now, she was going with her friend to meet a guy to give him a massage for two hundred dollars. Okay, so you're definitely gonna notice a quality change, right? In this episode, so we forgot to do. We got excited about talking about uh, this topic, and uh, we forgot to turn the lights on. Yeah, Jeffrey the Egg Epstein and, yeah. and his egg-shaped penis have been uh, assaulting young women for twenty years or, or better, right? And then he has his little uh, private island, private island, uh, uh, an apartment in France somewhere. Uh, it's twenty. What was it? Twenty-four million dollar apartment in New York City. The guy. The guy was a jet setter, right? And uh, and lived that lifestyle and had jet setter friends like like the Duke of York, right? Who would, or Donald Trump, or Donald <coughs> Trump, or uh, Alec Baldwin, yeah. or um, God, who uh, the the Michael Jackson thing I find interesting. It's you know why would he have Michael Jackson's phone number? Um, but then again. Uh, it, how long has Michael been dead? Ten years. Ten years. Tw- ten years. Ten years. Maybe maybe longer. So, I mean, maybe Michael likes something he could offer. It's a uh, strange. I, you know, I think maybe this guy just liked having Michael's phone number in his book. I mean, I also can think if he's one of these people that wants to be seen and heard. Yeah. He could always, "Hi, I'm Jeffrey Epstein. Here's my phone number. Let me get yours." Yeah. And it's always the. The personal assistant that says, "Okay, fine, absolutely," you know, yeah. But some some of them on there in there seem like the guys that would do this. Like, uh, I mean, we've already heard from one victim that the Duke of York definitely was involved, right? Although he may never face charges because you can't really extradite him. Well, the thing at uh, what was it? I think it was the the sixty minutes Australia mm-hmm. article or the video article was saying that. Um, He's been taken off of all trips to America. Yeah, he can't step foot in this country yeah. anymore because he's going to be. Uh, <sighs> well, he'll be he'll get questioned. Yeah, and if at, he, at least as a witness. Yeah, if uh, if not, you know, have charges filed against him. So, so a member of the royal family, a very close member of the royal family. Now we already know that a, a member of the royal family was the real Jack the Ripper. So you know. Oh, that's the, that's something I didn't even know. Oh yeah, the real Jack the Ripper was, was I think Prince Edward, some some shit like that. That's it's uh, you can look into that one. I but, feel like that's a whole different, a whole other episode. episode. But I'm just showing you that uh, royal families are notorious perverts and uh, and not just the Brits. Yeah, have you ever heard the aristocrats joke? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know that you know right? The, yeah, yeah. So if anybody hasn't heard the aristocrats joke. Yeah. <laughs> Look it up because I'm not going to say it. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the filthiest joke in the world, and uh, and it's the aristocrats. So uh, so there's no big uh, shock, and he's not the only one in the only royal in there. I saw a few others uh, that had like Sir or whatever next to their name. Well, shit, I, Tony Blair. So, yeah, Tony Blair. That. Yeah, not a royal, but ex prime minister of England, right? right? Um, I don't know. I'm just going out on a limb here, but he seems like maybe I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm not going to call anybody out for yeah being a pedophile or a, Ray Fines. Ray Fines had that encounter in that bathroom with the stewardess and all that. You know, it's, but she was like 20. Oh, I'm not saying she was too young. Oh, okay. I mean, you know this. I suppose everybody who ever met Epstein wishes hey, look, they hadn't now. Hold on. But here's the thing. The big difference between getting on a plane yeah. and banging the hot Stewardess. stew in the bathroom than, and, and I think at that point, probably being the most popular uh, actor in North America yeah. or the world, yeah. compared to being an actor or a prince banging underage 14 year olds oh there's there's a big difference i'm just saying he, he's like the kind of guy that, that like the party if i saw who's who's the other guy who was uh busted for being with a prostitute who uh back in the 90s uh that english actor hugh oh says, hugh, hugh grant hugh grant right wasn't his was uh transsexual or what? transgender or... was she 
I thought Pretty that one was sure. just regular. I thought Eddie Murphy picked up a transvestite. Back oh, maybe there. that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. So I mean, the world's got a history of this the, of this weird type of shit, and there's nothing wrong with uh, with anything like that. But obviously, the underage stuff is is what Epstein. By the way, I just want to do an I I wanted to check. Sarah Ferguson was married to Prince Andrew, who is the Duke of York. So it was Fergie's ex husband. Okay. Who's the uh, the perv that was? And did did you hear what the girl said about him? It, when she went dancing with him, he sweated a lot and he smelled funny. Now that's uh, she's being polite by saying that. In other words, uh, Pr- Prince Andrew, uh, Duke of York, you stink. Um, and I know, uh, th- th- you know, a lot of you Brits stink. Uh, you know, it, it's it's. I'm just gonna flat out and say bad teeth. Uh, not just the teeth thing. I, I was no fluoride in the water. I spent four years in the Marine Corps, and our sister unit when I when I was uh, when I was in was the was a uh, British. Four, you're gonna do four right like this. Four. So That's right. It's the only for, way you could ever do four. Our 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 sister unit were the British Royal Marines. This is when I was in Virginia, right? We had yeah. a, we had, fed, we had a, a a sister unit um, of other Marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, our our British counterpart, and they were cool. We parted with them. They were wild. And they drank more than any American. Huh. I mean, like with ease. Well, you remember that former employee we used to have on the uh, wrestling company? Yeah. I mean, she drank like a fish. It's it's a bit, it's astounding just how much these boys could drink. So we had to run PT with them. We ran PT with them after we partied with them. I hate when you look something up and then your phone starts going off about notifications. Right. So. We're, we we got to start we got to start this uniform run with them. We're going for ten miles, and uh, and they hit and uh, the first part of the first half of the run, first five miles, we lead. You know, in other words, the American Marines are out front. We're leading halfway through the run. The Brits get to go out front, and we have to follow. Oh my God! Did these guys stink? Because it's all the booze. It's all the going booze. You can just yeah. smell it coming off of them. Something rank. It's yeah. like it's like uh, it's like in pro wrestling. You do a you know, you do a Friday night show. Maybe you do a early s- matinee. You do a Saturday night show, and then you do Sunday. By the time Sunday rolls around, you walk into the locker room, and it's like you motherfuckers stink oh. because it's just all the booze and weed and everything else is going through everybody's pores. To see uh, dirty chonies too and shit. <clears throat> well, that's that's true because most. People, especially if they're from the Bay Area, they don't like to bathe, to wash their gear. That's crazy. I heard that. Suddenly, I didn't want to be, have any part with pro wrestling. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I had so many times that, oh, guy, that, that is a whole different subject. Another subject. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Dirty Ass Prince Andrew, yeah. you know, was, uh, was with this underage girl. Now, she was 17 when Jeffrey Epstein met her, so she was one year too young legally. And I think and if you're if she's in England, it's the legal age is like fifteen. Yeah. So not that that's an acceptable thing. No, but it may but not, you can't get but in trouble it's not for a crime. It. Yeah, you can't and get. so by the time was, I was about to say by the time you know he had hooked her up with, you know, Prince Andrew. Because I think New York is finally eighteen. Could have been months later that And I think it's yeah. because of him. Right? I don't know if there's gonna be if they're gonna be able to get Prince Andrew. I don't think they're gonna be able to get anybody. If he's dead, like, oh, I wrote somebody's name down. Unless there's, like, video or picture proof. But if these girls are willing to testify. Now, here, here's what, what I might. But here's the thing. You know how it goes in America. I understand. But guys have been sent to prison for just the testimony of a woman before or a man, whatever. Yeah, but these people aren't the – you and I are not billionaires. No. These people all – like they have people employees that are millionaires. Yeah. Their employees are millionaires. If their employees are millionaires, that means you have billions. Yes. They're not it is it is your legal team or you know, if I'm yeah. I, even if I'm just uh you know uh Alec Baldwin, my legal team yeah. is going to bury your testimony the second you open your mouth. I'd- I think you're absolutely not saying Alec Baldwin did anything. He was only used as an example. You're absolutely right. I I, I think the um I think the the case with um the first girl, the uh, the seventeen year old. I don't think that there's there would be any. I just don't think they're going to find 
that they can actually prosecute with that case. However, the other one, uh, Courtney um, Wild, Wild, yeah, was supposedly fourteen. Now, between fourteen and let's say sixteen, you got two at least two years worth of abuse there, right? That she uh, he could have handed her off to others, right? And uh, and if she's willing to testify, I could see charges coming up, especially if you're you're talking about people in the United States. I I, I can see someone attempting it, but I don't see it going anywhere. Oh. And that's just me, you know, like, you're a bit of a, a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. I'm a bit of a realist. Well, I, I'm a total, I'm a realist, too. I don't think... Like, that, I don't... Yeah. I, you know, it's like, I compare everything, and it's kind of silly, and I always do television stuff. Yeah. But, like, you can watch enough SVU with, you know, Captain Benson getting the man at the last minute yeah. because of uh, somebody misspoke. That shit doesn't happen in real no. life. No, and, and just like, you know... With the, uh, with the news about, you know, impeachment, it's like Clinton was impeached and he didn't step right. down. When when Trump is out of office, I'll believe it. Right. And not until that moment. Right. Because uh, it's, I mean, from the time the guy was inaugurated till now, there's been 20 different reasons that he should have been impeached. And yeah. yet he's still standing. So I'm not getting, you know... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm I believe a, it when I see it. I'm afraid to say this, but I'm pretty sure we've got five more years with the guy. Oh my goodness! Because we're 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 at three years right now. I know he's and uh, he he seems to be still popular amongst a good portion of the population. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Well, is that our Epstein episode? I don't know. I it's so. it's uh, what else is there? It's to such say? a weird. What else is there to say? Okay, you know, we got we have two of the victims that we that we talked about. All right, about so I don't know. Name. So here, let's go. Let's go with this. Okay. And all I want is he did or he didn't kill himself or killed. I think he was killed. I totally think he was taken out. I, I conspiracy, whatever. I, I think he was taken out. I don't think he was the. I think he was such an arrogant son of a bitch and such a that I don't think he would have even thought about killing himself. I 100% agree that I think he was killed. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that the circumstances, the unusual circumstances, you have the, the highest profile prisoner in the country at the, right. at the, at that time. Right. And somehow you're not, the guards aren't going to actually check on him when they're supposed to. You're not going to have a cellmate with him. Right. And you're taking him off of suicide watch. And, um, and it's for me and, and it, we, we saw a little article that said that, they marked checks that didn't happen because they're the video show. Yeah. So now is it a guard killed him? Did somebody get let in the prison? Did a prisoner do it? Like, was a prisoner basically given the job to kill him? Like, how did it happen? I think it, I think I think a team went in there. I'm not joking. And it was at least two men, most likely four. Probably four. Yeah. And then they went and they went in there with a needle. Well, you know, and that was it. You know, took two or three of them to hold them down. The other one gave them the needle. And in five minutes, they were out of there. Yeah. And they only. Now, the amount, the power (laughs) that it took for those guards to walk away to, Mm -hmm. you know, it's killing him. The the physical act of killing him is not really a difficult thing at all. No. The power that it took to make those guards walk away and falsify checks. That's, that's, I think too, when you have to start looking at grandma, grandma's bank accounts and no kidding, you know, you're not looking at his bank. You're looking at people that have bank accounts that aren't there. Exactly. You know, his cousin in Ohio all of a sudden has a Corvette mm-hmm. who's never made more than $15 an hour. Big family mm. vacation right after uh, their suspension. Right. right. And I mean, or they get suspended and they go to France. It's uh, something had to. Now, you heard that the. Uh... Let's just say, let, let me ask you something. You're a security guard or a right. prison guard, right? Okay. That, that's a good, well paying job, right. salary job. You've got benefits. Everything. You, you've got years at stake. Of your job, yeah. we've got the highest profile prisoner, you know, coming in, and you just happen to land the shift to watch this jerk that he dies on. You know, any shit you, you yeah, just yeah. happen to land the shift. You know, you got the night shift where you're watching this asshole. You realize your entire career could be, you know, at stake if something goes wrong. Do you think you're going to slip up on this? 
No. This, I mean, unless there's that, you know, a bunch of zeros get put in a bank account I don't know about. That's exactly it. These, know, these boys got a golden parachute What's that? Somewhere. What's that? Uh, my, my Swiss bank account all of a sudden pops up and I've got a lot of money. And I can go live in France with uh, uh, the other pedophile. <laughs> oh, right. So that's, that's the, um, yeah. This was uh, he. This was a, a uh, an exercise in absolute power. When you, yeah. see, when you see absolute, you know the JFK assassination. You watch that. That is pa- that is absolute power being exercised. Speaking right there. of assassinations, this is another one we could talk about. Was what? And this is going way off topic, but uh, uh, Judge Joe Brown saying that Martin Luther King wasn't killed, wasn't killed by, by uh, uh, James Earl Ray. Yeah. Absolutely, he he's adamant about it. He's a, he's a true believer yeah. that and he's that there was more than one person. And he was the he was actually the judge that could have got James Earl Ray out or released from prison or new trial or whatever. He was the final yeah. one before he died. And I know I know Jesse Jackson was actually there. He's in the pictures, right? If you ever look at like the panic pictures yeah, of yeah. him being shot, Jesse Jackson was actually there, but but I don't think Joe Brown was. We're gonna look. We're looking at this. This might be a whole episode we we do yeah. on this, but this is a conspiracy that is a little lesser known than the JFK conspiracy. But yeah, same time period, yeah. just as much of an impact. Apparently, there's a bunch of sketchy shit about the car, like who who bought that white Mustang that James yeah. Earl Ray was driving, and or the fact that he wasn't even in town when he died, supposedly. Yeah, there's a lot of that's like I said, that's a whole other subject, whole other thing. But, it but anyways, a conspiracy thing, and we definitely think a conspiracy. Is so we both think he was killed. Absolutely. Yeah. So here's what we want for everyone who watches: comment below, did he kill himself or not? Yeah. No explanations, no nothing. Just all I want to know. Yep. Well, and uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for uh, Jeffrey the Egg. <clears throat> Shouldn't laugh about that, but we do. Yeah. Well, you know, if the guy's dead. It's, you can't do anything else but make fun of him now. So let that fucker rot in hell. Yeah. Now sell his island and give it to the victims. Yeah, the right, money. Right? Or how about setting up a big fund for uh for for victim child uh child victims of sexual abuse or the know, sex everywhere. trafficking kids. Trafficking, yeah. Men exactly. and women, boys and girls, whatever you want to call it. Totally. So that would be a wonderful thing. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well thank you for uh letting us waste your time again this week and uh we'll see you again next week. <laughs>